Hello folks, welcome to the Hour Powered Investing. As you can hear, my voice is a bit sick, so mention me in your prayers, guys, so <laughs> I would get better soon. So uh, today we're going to cover our weekly outlook of the major pairs that we treat throughout the week. So let's make it uh, short and start quick. And as you can see here, guys, starting with the euro usd the price is just struggling around the lows and i told you that uh the price is highly likely to go to the downside and as you can see throughout the week we did have the downward uh downward movements downward uh, downward movements because uh over here we have uh the falling star but to the end of the week the price closed a bit kind of like you know um it was uh, hesitating. It was unknown where exactly it, it wants to go. So, um, um, personally, personally, to the upcoming week, I'm expecting the price to go to the downside more because the Federal Federal Reserve is hiking the rates. The dollar is becoming more and more... Um, uh, more and more expensive. So uh, I'm expecting uh, further downward movements on the euro USD for the upcoming week. The upcoming week is going to be, um, for sure, it's going to be the bearish. But uh, right now, to be honest, to be very, very honest, guys, I, I don't see, I don't see any opportunity uh, to trade it because um, it's very, it's, it's very like you know, you see. We do have this strong push to the upside, the price is coming down, nothing is clear to me, to be honest. Going with uh, USD CAD, we are going to the upside, guys, and after this uh, engulfing, uh, engulfing candle uh, the week before, we did have another uh, bullish uh, push to the upside. And as you can see here, guys, maybe we're going to uh, take a look. Oh, oh, we took a liquidity. Above it. So, um, yeah, as I told you, the dollar is becoming the strong, very strong. And the price is more highly likely to go to the upside. When the price is going uh, on, uh, on USD CAD, it's just going without any uh, strong pullback. So the upcoming week, guys, upcoming week at least the beginning of the upcoming week i'm expecting the price to be bullish to be honest guys and uh I, i'm expecting that the price is gonna you see over here um the price was just climbing to the upside without any strong uh pullback to the downside so it's it it will continue doing the same kind of like uh very very shallow pullbacks and the price is uh climbing to the upside usdjpy the price is just flying and we are expecting the usd become strong and i believe that it's gonna go upside even even further more oh my god it almost at the all time high. Okay, okay. And as you know about the USD, uh, USD GPY, guys, uh, when it goes to the upside, uh, when it goes to the upside or downside, or it's just trending, it doesn't make a lot of like very deep pullbacks. So, I'm just expecting for the price to make a very, very shallow pullbacks and go to the upside and be bullish the upcoming week. AUD USD, guys. AUD USD. It's bearish. The strong bearish momentum is uh, keeping these weeks. We do have two bearish candles and I'm expecting for the third bearish candle to appear or at least at the beginning of the week it's going to be it's going to be bearish the price is going to go to the downside maybe it will take a liquidity below or uh, below these lows below these lows and then maybe reverse to the upside for some time 
but right now at the beginning of the week i'm expecting to be bearish Yeah, sort of like a falling star formation over here, guys. Falling star formation, and I expect the price just just go to the downside. Uh, just with a minor, minor pullbacks on the low time frame, guys. As you can see, uh, UDUSD is also like kind of stable these days. <sighs> GBP USD. I'm expecting it um, to be the same as other pairs. The follow, the follow uh, overall momentum and go to the downside. As you can see here, guys, um, we did have this break of structure to the downside, and if we draw our FIB levels. The price already went to the premium level above 50% and just started reversing. So, uh, highly likely is it will just go full to the downside. And this was it, guys. This was uh, this is my view for a week for the upcoming week. What's gonna be? And I wish you all the best, guys. Peace.